What's up, what's up, what's up? It's that time of the show where we kind of give a shout out to our sponsors. The sponsor today is Anchor. Anchor is everything you need to create your own podcast. You can use Anchor to distribute your show. They'll kind of get it out for you. And all you have to do is do it from your cell phone or your microphone, however you want to do it. But if you want to get your voice out there, if you want to talk to the people, there's no better place to do it than Anchor. So download the, the app, Anchor, or go to their website, anchor.com. It'll distribute your platform. It'll distribute your podcast on all platforms. So again, Anchor. What's up, what's up, what's up? Another episode. We back. You Can't Play Boxing Podcast, episode 15, right? Yeah, 15. We 15 episodes deep in here. So get all the um, the house cleaning out the way. If you want to catch us on the internet, you can catch us at You Can't Play Boxing. That's U-C-A-N-T-P-L-A-Y-B-O-X-I-N-G on Instagram. I'm your guy, Electric Relaxation. You can catch me on Instagram. So this episode is going to be a real quick, short episode. We just I just had to talk about the Sean Porter, Errol Spence fight. Um, fight lived up to his expectations and even better. I mean, one of the better fights of the year. If you don't know by now, Errol Spence won by unanimous, well, a split decision. Um, very close fight. Uh, it's closer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I had the fight really like 114, 113 as far as having Errol Spence winning. Um, if you haven't, li- if you didn't see the fight, fight was going back and forth over the, all the rounds. Errol Spence, Sean Porter, they was fight like they was in a damn phone booth. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Errol Spence. He made the fight tougher than I think it had to be. I think if he used his his uh, his length and his uh, boxing ability, he could have made it easier. If he fought a if he if he fought a similar game plan to what uh, Keith Thurman did when he fought Sean Porter, he would have made it an easier fight. But I think by him fighting the way that he did, he made the fight more entertaining. But um, you no know, fight was going back and forth. Actually, I think at the round 10, you know what I'm saying? I had, it was like even pretty much. And um, 11th round, Errol Spence hit Sean Porter with a shot that made his gloves touch, you know. And, uh, you know, his gloves touched the canvas. And uh, when that happened, uh you know, that was a knockdown. And really, to me, that was the, the difference in the fight. You know, Sean Porter landed more shots on Errol Spence than anybody else. But because of the way Errol Spence was fighting, he was kneeling. He was basically um, bending over, taking taking down his height to go to, to uh, Sean Porter's range, which, you know, I think he could have fought a smarter fight. But all in all, you know, Sean Porter, Sean Porter, if you didn't know, he showed that he's a true dog. Errol Spence, I already knew he was a dog. And it was a good fight. Um, Coming up next, you know, I think they said after the fight, we had uh, Danny Garcia, who I have Danny Garcia ranked as the number six welterweight. Um, I will have I will have new rankings coming out uh, at the end of this show. And um, Sean Porter is going to, I mean, Danny Garcia is going to probably fight Errol Spence. They're talking about January 25th. Um, I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to probably be on um, on uh, pay-per-view. So that's an upcoming fight. It's a solid fight. A lot of people want Errol Spence to fight Manny Pacquiao. But if I'm Pacquiao, I don't fight Errol Spence, man. That's that's too much for me in my 40 years old. And Pacquiao like five six, Errol Spence five ten. He's way bigger than Pacquiao. That's a that's not a smart fight for many Pacquiao at forty years old. It's not a smart fight. Uh, people say they want Errol Spence to fight. Keep I mean to uh, fight 
um, Terrence Crawford, but that's not going to happen probably. I don't see it happening to probably late 2020, early 2021. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad about the Danny Garcia fight. I mean, you know, he's a top welterweight. Go, and cl- go ahead and clean up the division. Um, you know, get another win on your resume and, and go from there. As far as Sean Porter, um, it's interesting. Who would I like to see, uh, to see Sean Porter fight? If the fight could be made, I think him and uh, Terrence Crawford would be a great fight. I want to see Terrence Crawford measured up, measured up against him, but um, that probably won't happen. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Sean Porter definitely going to have other big fights after this fight. Errol Spence, of course, you know he's going to have big fights after this fight. Um, so it was a great fight. You know, I think this week we got Triple G facing Darmachinko, who lost. Darmachinko, he lost against uh, Danny Jacobs. I'm going to preview that Triple G fight later on in the week. As far as my top 10 welterweights, uh, going to kind of keep it the same for the top for the bottom portion of it. I have Amir Khan as number 10. At number 9, uh, I got, uh, what's the dude? Sergey Limpinets. Uh, number 8. Um, at number 8, I'm going to put at number 8, we're going to keep it as um, Amir Imam. I'll put him number eight. Number seven, Mikey Garcia. Number six, I still got Danny Garcia. And number five. It's hard to do this, but I'm going to move Keith Thurman down to number five. And I'm moving Sean Porter up to number four. Number three, I got Manny Pacquiao. And number two, I got Terrence Crawford. And I keep Errol Spence as the number one welterweight. So Sean Porter moved up one spot in the welterweight rankings off of his, off of his performance. Um, Keith Thurman moved down one space, pretty much. Um, again, we're going to keep this episode pretty short. Uh, check us out later on this week. We're going to preview that Triple G versus uh, Darren Chinko for the, for the middleweight title. I think the IBF middleweight title. So that's going to be on the zone this weekend. So you can always find us on social media. That's that you can't play boxing. And of course, um, you know, tune in, subscribe to the episodes, subscribe to the to the podcast you know uh, we appreciate the support we get more and more listeners every week and we're going to continue to drop some good content man so just uh, rock out with us um until next time later on this week y'all peace